what's up YouTube welcome to another video in this video I'll show you how to use MySQL uh, we'll create a database we'll also create a table within that database and then we'll be needing to create some columns there as well or else it's not gonna allow us to create a table so let's start by going and opening our MySQL prompt Once inside MySQL, you can take a look at which databases that you have available to you right now. We have two, but we don't want to use those. We want to create our own database. So what we're going to do, we're going to say create database and then give the name to your database. I'm going to name mine QA and then I'm going to say use QA. That's going to change the database that is active right now to QA and anything I execute is going to run against that database right now. So next command is going to create our table. So we're going to say create table and then we're going to give the name to a table. So I'm going to name my results and inside of this table we need to specify our columns that we're going to have. So the first column I'm going to create is ID. ID is going to be an integer and this can never be null and I want this column to auto increment itself as well. So I'm going to say auto underscore increment comma then I'm going to move down to the next column and the next column is going to be my primary key and I want ID to be my primary key you can pick a different primary key for example a timestamp if you report timestamp it would be a good option to use that uh, it's pretty much guaranteed to be unique uh, unless you have thousands of records reported a second into your database then you're pretty much guaranteed to always have a unique timestamp okay so that's going to be our primary key and for the purposes of showing you how to add more columns to this table I'm going to um, stop right here I'm gonna create a table just with this two columns and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add more columns to our table that we just created for example maybe something changed and you need another column in in your uh, table so that's how you're gonna add them so what we're gonna say is we're gonna say alter table and then we're gonna give the name of a table the table as results and then I'm gonna say add column and then here I can specify what the column is and for this column I want to name it test suit and this is going to be varchar and then we have to give the link of the var char so 255 is pretty standard i think a test suit name should not be longer than that that's plenty of uh, characters so we're gonna type that in so now it created our column for us for test suit now we're gonna do the same thing and i'm gonna add another column this one is going to um, contain our test name and I don't want this column to be null ever so I'm going to say not null meaning this meaning that anytime I report something to this database test name has to be reported it can never be null now I'm gonna do another column this is going to be test status basically this is going to tell me whether test passed or failed and I, I think I can just reduce the length of this column to 10 and also I never want this column to be null so I'm gonna say not null hit enter and now let's take a look at our table so I'm gonna say describe results and that will show all of the columns I have in my table so 
that's it for this video guys thank you for watching make sure to like the video subscribe and share in the next video i will show you how to add users to our database thank you guys for watching take care